Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today we are going to start with the discovery of atomic number. But before starting with this topic, I would like to revise the concept of atom and the atomic structure. So, we all know that atoms are made of three fundamental particles which are electron, proton and neutron. Where electron is a negatively charged particle, proton has the positive charge and where neutron has no charge, it is a neutral. So, according to this structure, proton and neutron are present in the small nucleus of the center of the atom and almost the entire mass of the atom is a nucleus because the electrons which are outside the nucleus which I have represented by the red dots have very very small mass so due to the presence of proton nucleus has a positive recharge well friends electron are outside the nucleus and the electron in an atom revolves rapidly around the nucleus in a fixed circular path we call it energy levels or shells or orbits. As an atom on a whole is electrically neutral, therefore we can say that the number of new electrons outside the nucleus is equal to the number of proton inside the nucleus. Well friends, atom of all the elements are made up of three subatomic particles. These are electrons, protons and neutrons. And the atom of different element differs in number of electron, proton and neutron. So now we shall discuss what is atomic number. Well friends, what is atomic number? Is it a number of atoms present in the element? Or is it the subatomical particle which are present in single atom? No. The atomic number is nothing but the number of proton in one atom of an element. Well friends, for example, one atom of sodium element has 11 proton in it. So the atomic number of sodium is 11. And all the atoms of the same element have the same proton in their nucleus. And hence they have the same atomic number. Atoms of different elements have different numbers of proton in their nucleus. So they are differ in their atomic numbers. So by this we can say that or we can note down that no two elements have the same atomic number. Since each element have its own fixed atomic number, therefore atomic number can be used to identify an element. If we generalize in a normal atom, the number of proton is equal to the number of electrons in it. So we can say that the atomic number of the element is equal to the number of electrons in the neutral atom of that element. And we can represent any journal atom like this. Let the element be x with the symbol x, a with the mass number. Well friends, you should not Confused with the atomic number and mass number, where the mass number is actually the total number of proton and neutron present in one atom of the element, that is the number of proton added to the number of neutron. There are much, there is a difference between A and Z. You should always remind this and note down in your notebooks. So, who discovered the atomic number. Well friends, Henry Moselle, he was a British scientist. He found that atom of each element contains a unique positive charge in the nucleus and this discovery helped to solve the mystery of what makes the atom of one element different from those of the other. So an atom's identity comes from the number of proton in its nucleus. How did he do? He used this experiment. We call it the X-ray source and parts of spectroscope less power supply and vacuum system for measuring the positively charged particles in the nucleus, which gives rise to the discovery of atomic number. He did it in 19... 
14 by using the X-ray tubes which determines the charge on the nucleus of most the atom. And then he wrote that the atomic number of an element is equal to the number of proton in the nucleus. And this work was used to reorganize the periodic table based upon the atomic number instead of atomic mass. So finally, the discovery was benefited by the Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. In 1869, the table is virtual representation of periodic law, which states that the certain properties of element repeat periodically when arranged by atomic number. Well, friends, let's understand now the facts and figures of the atomic number, which actually gives us more information about what is atomic number and what atomic number differs in the mass number and what is atomic number, that is the importance of the atomic number in an element. Well. First, we shall understand atomic number and atomic masses. Well, atomic number is often wrongly confused with the atomic mass number, which refers to the number of proton and neutron together in the nucleus. Second basic fact is that the neutron number, that is the number of neutron, when added to the atomic number, gives rise to the atomic mass. Third, we can talk about the proton and neutron. Well, the proton and neutron of an element's nucleus have essentially the same mass. So we can say that the atomic mass is very, very close to the atomic number sometimes when the number of neutron is equal to the number of proton. Next, we should talk about the isotopes. Well, isotope is a product of element. When atom has a different neutron numbers than the atomic number. That means for different isotopes, we have same atomic number but different atomic mass. Because we have the different numbers of neutron present in the nuclei. Next, we should learn about the fact of the element. That is, more than 75% of all the elements on Earth are a mixture of their isotopes. But yes, the atomic number of all these isotopes are same. The relation to the atomic number and the periodic table, well, they were originally ordered by the atomic weights. But after noting the different chemical properties of the element, the Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev orders the element by the atomic number. Well, Antonius Van Dien gave a theory in 1911 after Rutherford's incorrect assumption that atomic nuclei accounted for half their atomic weight, that the number of electrons equal the elements placed in the periodic table. And yes, the Mosley is actually related to the atomic number. As the Mosley went on to prove that the theory using the spectral lines in 1913, which gives rise to the discovery of atomic number. So, how the discovery of neutron is related to the atomic number? Well, the discovery of neutron nearly 20 years later helped solidify scientists' understanding of how atomic number correlates with the element positioned on the table, which we as actually call the modern periodic table. Well, about the discovery of new element. Well, a number of new elements were discovered simply due to the fact as an element was missing at a certain atomic numbers. And this opened the door for research and discovery by aligning a new observation with the appropriate blank spots on the periodic table. Well, friends, this is how the discovery of atomic number happened by the Henry Muselet, who discovered the atomic number and which was actually benefited to us 
and most of the scientists to discover more elements and to keep this element in your periodic order which we call as modern periodic table which we have actually learned about all the properties of the element with respect to groups and periods so now it's your time to do an activity i have gave you two questions just write down in the notebook and uh, try yourself if you can do these two simple very very simple questions and in next session we shall come up with the hydrogen in this sessions we'll be having a continuing sessions of hydrogens where we will be learning about the chemical and physical properties of hydrogen for today i shall signing off thank you for watching edupedia world videos